What is up guys? Today we're going to do something a little bit different and we're going to use two different AI websites to create some brand new Pokemon in real life. We're going to use one website which is called Replicate Text to Pokemon to create a new Pokemon and then we're going to use another website OpenArt AI to create some real life interpretations of that Pokemon. At the end of the video I'm going to name all of our brand new Pokemon but I'm not the best at naming Pokemon or the most creative. It should be really interesting. Let's get into it. So to give you guys an example when you first open replicate text to Pokemon. This is the one that it comes up with and you can see over here that the prompt that's been given is Yoda and here's our Yoda Pokemon which I think looks really cool. So what I'm doing once we generate our own prompts is we're going to go over to OpenArt AI and I'll type in either Yoda or Yoda Pokemon to see if it can come up with something pretty cool. So there's a few different ones here but I really like this one here where the is kind of turned into wings so that's going to be like my chosen yoda pokemon that we're going to use but this is our example let's move on to my ideas all right the first one i'm going to type in is lava rat i think for the most part we don't want to over complicate the ai or it's just going to come up with something that doesn't look very good that's an interesting start for our lava rat it looks like it's got wings which is kind of interesting as well but definitely looks like a rodent especially with the ears and after looking at open art here is what we've got for our lava rat here as well which i think is really interesting obviously focusing more on the fire but i like that it has a bit of background to it you can definitely picture it around a volcano so there's our lava rat what do you guys think i'm gonna go for punk zebra i can definitely picture a zebra with some kind of like rainbow mohawk or something like that well that's really cool we've definitely got inspirations from blitzel and zeb striker but obviously the colors are different not quite a rainbow mohawk but i do love the spikes on the back over here is what we've got from OpenAI. Couldn't find any rainbow mohawks, but I did find this, which looks definitely very humanoid, but I do love the attitude that it's giving off. For the next one, I want to go something a little bit more Australian because I'm Aussie, and we're going to type in King Koala, and let's see what it can come up with. Okay, that is not what I expected. I can definitely see the koala that's in it. I don't know where the king is. I would have loved like a crown or something regal looking. This is what we've got here for the AI, which I think is incredible. I absolutely love it. This is what I wanted when I wanted something a bit more regal or something like a crown. I think it's really, really cool. Definitely looks like it's got some power and authority behind it. Let's do something a little bit different. I'm going to do depressed flower. Okay, and that's... I would say that's depressed. It's kind of definitely got... You know, we've got like our Florges and we've got our other flower Pokemon. I think it definitely needs like some eyes or some kind of face. But I do love this one that came up. I think it looks really, really cute. It doesn't look too depressed, but it does look maybe hopeful. And I can definitely see it as a Pokemon. Maybe like a Sobble or a Zuril or... It's got those big baby looking eyes, which I think is just really, really cute. We'll try three words. Hopefully that'll be okay. Suit of armor. Yo, this one I actually really like. I'm getting vibes of like Registeel. Looks like a metallic kind of Pokemon. It's interesting with the hands as well. Like there's some cool weapons that it's got. I also really like the example that Open Art came up with because this looks very cool as well. Not all that different I would say from the replicate version of the Pokemon too. But again, definitely something that looks like it would be a very big Pokemon. This time I'm going to find something that's kind of a paradox in a way. I'm going to look at desert, but I'm also going to look at dolphin. Okay, that's not quite what what I was expecting. It does look kind of cute though. I think it's the big eyes and the open mouth makes it look really cute. We've definitely got colors of the dolphin and the desert in there. Body shape is not quite like a dolphin, but I guess if it's on stand, maybe it does need to walk. I do love the, the like the fins near the ears as well though. The other version though, check this out. Obviously like a real life animal, we've got our dolphin, but the tail kind of turning into sand is really, really cool. I think that's such a fantastic idea and I can definitely see it swimming or gliding through the sand. And next one, I'm going to go something kind of humanoid. Elderly gentleman. All right, that's not what I was expecting. I was kind of hoping for something maybe kind of dapper looking, something in some kind of suit, which we can kind of get there. The face is kind of interesting. I think it's tried to make it like saggy and wrinkly but when i was looking on open art ai it was kind of difficult but i did find this which i thought looked really cool doesn't so much look elderly definitely more focused on the gentleman almost maybe looks like someone wearing a mask which is interesting so it could have an interesting backstory if it was a pokemon now this time i'm going to give the ai a little bit of a challenge i'm going to give it a few more words but they're kind of related so it might be able to work out i'm going to type in fresh fruit vegetables oh i absolutely love this 
this one. I love the colors in it. Obviously, we've got our fresh fruit veggies, your watermelons, maybe your lemons, that sort of thing. Maybe it's got some vibes from like Vavilon and stuff like that. I think the shape of it. But when we're looking for the open art AI, I couldn't decide. So I have two here. One of them looks like a Bulbasaur, but with lettuce on it, which I think is very cute and very cool. And the other one is a lemon. Looks like it's got a sword and it's dealing some damage to other fruit and veggies, which is kind of cool. But it just looks so happy and excited and I love the arms and legs on it. So I couldn't decide between the two. Hey, if you've come this far into the video, you must think it's kind of all right. So it would mean a lot if you could chuck a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I've always got interesting Pokemon things happening. All right, let's get back to it. Now, I feel I would be remiss if I didn't type my name into it because metal and fear are two real life words and it could come up with a pretty gnarly looking Pokemon, I think. As it was loading, I was thinking in my head, what if it just shows us something like a piece of metal? That's kind of close to a piece of metal. It looks almost like, maybe like a clink? Definitely focusing more on the metal side of things, but I did look at it at open art, and I'm going to give you a bit of a warning. It's kind of creepy. A lot of the images here are very scary, very creepy. So, if you don't like scary things, maybe skip forward 30 seconds or so. This is what I found. I think it's kind of cool. It definitely looks like a mess of vines and sharp objects. I would give it maybe a steel ghost typing, I would say. But it's kind of interesting, although very different to me, I would say. <laughs> okay, after that last one, I think we definitely need to cleanse our souls. So let's do something a bit more happy and vibrant. We could even do something like a happy... Let's go Australian again and do happy platypus and see what it can come up with. I wouldn't say it's a platypus. This is maybe more like a wallaby or something? The ears are definitely not like a platypus, but it is interesting how it just has two legs and a massive tail. But this thing is very, very cute. Definitely looks happy and definitely looks a little bit more like a platypus, which I think is very, very cool. I'm going to do another one that's kind of two very different terms. I'm going to do princess, but then I'm going to do slug. Again, like when we did King Koala, I'm hoping for some kind of crown. All right, I love this. It definitely looks more like a snail because of the shell, but oh my God, it has a crown exactly like I wanted it. But I also love this version over here because this one is super, super adorable. I could almost see something like this yellow one evolving into the pink one with the shell and the crown. There's definitely a link kind of there. I think they are both very, very cool. Sticking to the animal theme, I'm going to do another animal, but this time I'm going to do giant ant. That is not what I was expecting. That looks way too friendly, I think. Straight away, I think of a ladybug with the red and the black spots. The feet are kind of interesting. It's got maybe big mouse ears. Not what I was thinking of for an ant at all. This is what I was thinking of for a giant ant. This is incredible. I love it. I can definitely see it as maybe some kind of steel kind of Pokemon like Durant, but in a different vein to Durant. Very thin and almost robotic in a way. I even just love the background, how it's like walking through the forest. Seems very ominous. It's holding maybe a lamp or something. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try doing three words and I'm going to do flaming drum kit. Now that looks pretty cool. It doesn't have a face to it. You could kind of say maybe the circle is, is an eye maybe but that looks pretty cool. A big focus on the flames, which is very interesting, but oh my God, we may have my new favorite Pokemon so far. This looks awesome. Not so much like a drum kit, but it's definitely got the flames going on. Maybe the tail might sound like a drum when you hit it. I'm not sure. I'm going to try three words again. I'm going to try a fine dining set. I'm going a little bit fancier this time, a little bit more posh. All right, that is a very interesting look. When I was thinking of fine dining, I guess I was thinking of like plates and cutlery and stuff like that, but this is definitely focusing on the tail. I do love that it's got legs and feet to make it look like an animal or like a Pokemon. I did find this, which is very, very interesting. It looks like a table that opens up with a Pokemon hiding inside, or maybe the Pokemon uses that top bit as like a hat or something like that, almost like a low hat in a way. My next idea, I think might just break the system. In an AI generator for Pokemon, I'm going to type the word Pokemon. Okay, not what I was expecting. A random mix of Pokemon, a random thing. That's what it's come up with, which is not bad, actually. I don't think it's all that weird, although I'm not sure if that black bit in the middle is maybe its neck or a giant open mouth. The interesting part was in open art was that it did focus on the Pikachu and came up with this monstrosity where it's got four arms, but zero legs. So that's kind of a bit creepy. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, sticking to the Pokemon, but not Pokemon theme. I'm actually gonna type in Team Rocket this time. And that is kind of interesting. Not like a rocket at all. It definitely looks like something mischievous or like a bad kind of Pokemon, I guess. 
gets to line with Team Rocket. Does have like those evil looking eyes. I did find something a little bit different on Open Art AI though. It's kind of cute, but does also look kind of evil or nefarious in a way. It also had maybe, I guess, two forms or, or trying to disguise itself in a way. So I'm going to give it cheese party hat three very different things next party hat kind of works together okay it's come up with something i feel it's got the cheese aspects i'm not sure about the reverse but i don't know where the party or where the hat is i'm kind of giving pumpkin boo vibes i think that's just the pattern that it's got on it but i did find something quite different and i think much cute i am a sucker for cute pokemon this thing is very very cute again it's yellow for cheese it definitely looks like a hat. I'm not seeing the party in it, though. It does look a little bit sad, but it is very cute. I'm going to give it too many prompts again. This time, I'm going to stick with a hat theme, and I'm going to type in cow... Whoop, no, I can't type. Cowboy hat lizard this time. Okay, that's not what I was thinking at all. Doesn't look like a lizard in the slightest. I do love the giant sombrero hat that it has, though. That is really, really cool, but... What happened to the lizard? What What is that? I don't even know what animal that is. But I did find something very different and very, very cute. I'm getting Indiana Jones vibes on this one. It's got the hat. It's got the satchel. It's definitely looking like a lizard, at least. I have an idea. I'm going to do a very specific species of animal. I'm going to type in the African pygmy hedgehog that looks kind of cute i don't think that's too bad actually it does kind of look like a hedgehog but i'm also kind of getting like herdier vibes off it maybe it's the color scheme it does kind of look frightened almost got like a raccoon kind of face i think this is what an african pygmy hedgehog looks like in real life and i think that looks very very cute all right our last one and then we're going to try to name them which i'm kind of nervous about not gonna lie two words that you wouldn't normally see together i'm going to do superhero chihuahua all right my chihuahua doesn't quite look like a chihuahua but i think that looks pretty cool i definitely see superhero vibes in there i love the color scheme the black looks really really cool even the gold bands around the paws look very cool too i do like that a lot i can see that being a superhero i think that's really cool i don't think it can beat this have a look at this superhero chihuahua it looks like it's flying it looks straight up like a chihuahua it looks very happy it's got armor around it it is a straight up superhero i absolutely love that now the difficult part at least for me we're going to name our pokemon i started with our lava rat which i ended up calling rolton for rat and molten together next was our punk zebra that i ended up naming zebronk simply zebra plus punk you gotta see that these are very creative i just merged two words together next king koala i called royal tree obviously royal and koalas live in trees royal tree and a play on royalty our depressed flower i ended up calling moon flora like we've got sunflora already i wanted the opposite moon flora our suit of armor i called ty steelton titan and steel together our desert dolphin i ended up calling doll sand which i don't think was too bad for dolphin and sand it kind of works out really well especially for that second one our elderly gentleman which i thought looked very grumpy so i called it com crank because it's complaining and cranky together especially the one on the left it definitely looks like he's complaining about some children on his lawn our fresh fruit and veggies was a bit tricky because we've got three images here and I call it hell free, play off healthy. And just a warning, our next one is our scary image. If you don't want scary for Metal Fear, skip this next part. But we have Metal Fear here, which I ended up calling Feardom. I wanted fear and doom together. Then we cleansed our souls and we got our happy platypus, which I ended up thinking it was more like a bandicoot. So I called it bandicoot because I think it's very cute. Next was our princess slug, which I think I had the most problem naming. I ended up calling it cruise for crown and slugs are oozing our giant ant i ended up calling giant giant and ant works together anyway but i didn't want to have just the word giant so i changed it to a j our flaming drum kit i ended up calling fire rock i wanted rock not from the rock type but from rock and roll so fire rock i thought worked nicely my fine dining set i thought was like camouflaging so i called it camature with camouflage and furniture together the one that we just called pokemon i mainly focused on the left one the pikachu i couldn't really do anything with i ended up calling aurora Dill because if that's a big open mouth it's like it's roaring and i think it looks like an armadillo our team rocket pokemon i definitely thought was a, a tricky deceiving kind of pokemon so i merged them together and call it trixie 
massive. Our cheese party hat, I mainly focused on the right hand one. I thought it looks kind of wobbly, so I called it Shobble, cheese and wobble together. Our cowboy hat lizard, I definitely went something more Mexican themed because I thought that looks like a sombrero, so we called it Si Senor. We made it something a little bit different, gave it a little accent on the end, which I think is kind of cool. Our African pygmy hedgehog, I thought it looks quite frightened, so I merged Spike and Frightened together to give it Spiten. And our last one, our superhero Chihuahua, I really love this one. I called it Poochiro because it's a pooch and it's a hero, so I thought that works out really nicely together. But I think you guys can definitely come up with better names than I did, so I'd love down in the comments if you could name some of my Pokemon for me or tell me which one was your favorite. Make sure you subscribe for more.